Ethnology is a division of anthropology. It's basically things collected by live people from live people. So some of the objects that we have might be over 200 years old, but they were originally collected by a live person from a live person. My name is Tilly Lasky. I'm the curator of ethnology at the Science Museum of Minnesota. Curators in general are responsible for stewardship and um, access of collections. So as a curator of ethnology, I'm responsible for, here at the Science Museum, 25,000 cultural objects from around the world. I think my favorite part of the job is working with people. It's really wonderful to have descendants of the people who made the objects come in and interact and tell us about them. Um, we learn so much from cultural specialists coming in, not necessarily scholars coming in and teaching us about the objects. So there's, I learn something new every day. So this is a collection of about 500 objects that we just recently got. The Science Museum, the collection has been here about 104 years and the objects have come to us from many different venues. Everything from private collectors to anthropologists who did field work in Ecuador or Peru and came back with hundreds if not thousands of objects that were then added to the collection. When I got a call about the 500 object collection, the man who collected it told me he had a couple barrels full, which immediately I was dismayed because I was like, oh no, they're in terrible condition. But you can see they did a really good job of taking care of the objects over the um, 30 years that they had them. They lived in um, the jungle for 18 years, so they became very close friends with the people who lived there and they um, did a really great job of collecting and therefore, you know, the Science Museum of Minnesota now has an amazing collection of Amazonian material culture. These are some of the objects from the Bishop Whipple collection. Within our American Indian collection, which is over 8,000 objects, there are two, about 200 pieces that relate directly to Bishop Henry Whipple. And Whipple was the first Episcopalian bishop here in Minnesota. He came in 1859. And during his um, years here, he collected American Indian objects and was gifted many American Indian objects. And the majority of those pieces are here at the Science Museum and up at the History Center. And so that between the two of us, we have 500 objects in one place, which makes it really an important resource for the people of Minnesota. One of the areas of my study is dialogics. So what happens when people come together? If you think of cultures as circles of influence or spheres of influence, so those places where they overlap is really interesting because when you know people aren't trying to take over a culture or eliminate a culture, those really wonderful places in between create amazing artworks. This is kind of a quintessential dialogic object. It's an altar cloth that would have been used in the Episcopal Church. And the beadwork says Wakan, and Wakan is the Dakota word for the Great Spirit. So it's this wonderful blending of cultures coming together. These are some of the museum's ethnobotanical specimens and this is a collection of corn beans and squash sunflowers tobacco that are, have all been indigenously cultivated, so cultivated by American Indian people in North America. And um, there are specimens from um, all sorts of tribes. We do have quite a lot from the Mandan in North Dakota. And what you're seeing here are, are the original corn cobs that sat here for years until um, a local man came and said, how about you give me some of those um, kernels and I'll try and germinate them. And you can see where we took out certain kernels right there. And amazingly enough, they did germinate, you know, after being 50, 60, up to 100 years old. 
We have an American Indian ethnobotanist, his name is Scott Shoemaker, and we work with the American Indian OIC school in Minneapolis, so we hire their students to come work on our gardens. And um, it's, it's just kind of had a life of its own, and it's very integrated into the American Indian community here in the Twin Cities. What makes a collection important are the people who are connected to it. And so we really encourage folks to come in and interact with the collections and then we learn more about them. What we have in the storage area, in addition to anthropology and objects, are biology and paleontology. You know, in total, it's approximately 1.75 million objects. They really are just a treasure for the people of Minnesota and the world. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Yeah.